G'day, I'm Ash, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday's video was a bit rushed and half put together, and yeah, I will admit that's because I have limited time constraints. It's lucky you even got a video at all. I didn't really want to give up the fact that, uh, well, maybe I should have spent a little more time on it, but hey, it is what it is, and you can't change the past. Essentially, yesterday's video was about five premium vehicles that should be in the tech tree. This included event vehicles and all reward vehicles as well, as they sort of, you know, grouped into one category. As long as they weren't a land lease vehicle and they were not a prototype or a ace vehicle where they are named after an ace, then they were perfectly acceptable for a category to be moved over into the regular tech tree. Now, first of those vehicles was the P40C. You saw that just a brief a bit earlier. And that vehicle is purely because it's 7.7s and it's two 12.7s is, well, mediocre at best. And being the earliest version of the P40 we have in the game, it would have been nice to see it. Second vehicle, the Arado 196A3. There's two versions of this one, the Event German Float Plane, and I believe it's 450 or 350 Golden Eagles on... Well, the Swedish tech tree, there is a another variant of this particular aircraft with a belt-fed machine gun rather than a drum-fed machine gun. So there, there, there's that to look forward to. Um, near identical, but they should have probably been uh, or at least a tech tree vehicle. Speaking of tech tree vehicles that should have been in the game, number three is the F-11 F-1. This thing's fantastic but doesn't get any countermeasures. And at the battle ratings you are fighting, you generally are fighting vehicles that do have, well, similar countermeasures to yourself, but you can outrun everything. This thing can do a Mac well, 1 pretty easily. I find this aircraft a pleasure to play every time I'm flying it, but it is a little difficult, especially when you get an up tier and you're first thing, say, R60s all the bloody time. Can't imagine how it would feel for a MiG-15 or a Sabre, but... This thing is, is good, but it's not great either. And yeah, it's on the list purely because, well, why not? Essentially the same as this particular vehicle. This is the HE-162A2. But on the list I've written the A1, and the A1 has been put away as a tournament vehicle. Essentially replaced the two 20mm guns with 30mm guns, and that's the only distinct notable change between the two variants. Other than that, there is no other sort of vehicle like that. Obviously, I could put a couple of other vehicles on the list. I thought about Hudson Mark V or PV-2D. Those are two aircraft that are quite similar in, 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 in ways. The Lockheed Ventura or the uh, uh, Lockheed Hudson, as it was called, in Allied service. In America, the PV-2D was like a naval coastal plane and it has a bunch of things and it's fantastic. But... They're similar airframes, they do similar things, they just don't have, you know, similar armament, some of the various configurations. Then there is the Sea Vixen. I had footage of the Sea Vixen, I don't know where I put it, I must have deleted it. Essentially, the Sea Vixen is, well, Red Tops. It's very unique, it should probably have been in Tech Tree, there's probably another variant that could go. I still don't understand why it was put as a premium. I, I, I've never understood that since its introduction, but there's that. Uh, the H8K3, there is no distinguishable differences between the H8K2, which is in the tech tree. This is a Japanese float bomber that, well, as far as the only major difference that I can see is that the, well, the, the floats retract into the wings. That is the only notable difference between that and, and its predecessor. Same bombs, same amount of gunners, same gun types, since they recently changed the gunners on the H8K2 to match the, uh, the K3, it's kind of a bit weird. Uh, what else was there? Uh, the, the D521. Now, that's an event vehicle you may not have heard about. It's a French, uh, sort of early war fighter. Essentially, it's got a Merlin engine. And it's supposed to have a couple of 20 mils extra, but it's only got one 20 millimeter in the nose. It should have 20 mils in the wings as well. But it's in the British tech tree just like the D520, the premium that you could buy in the British tech tree originally. And since it's no longer a, a sort of really used or an event vehicle that is really given out, it'd be nice to see it in the French tech tree as a standalone vehicle. And last but not least, the uh, IAR81C. Essentially, I put this on the list purely because yesterday I talked about having Hungarian slash Romanian vehicles in the Italian tech tree. And yes, while it is in the Italian premium line, 
It would have been nice to see some, or at least a couple of the other unique designs that, that Romania or Hungary put up in terms of aviation in the regular tech tree. So either way, you've got a full list of vehicles there. That's about 10 aircraft that uh, could potentially be put in as tech tree counterparts. Granted, you know, it is subject to your own decision. Let me know in the comments down below what you think should be a premium and what shouldn't be. Otherwise, I've chosen specifically very safe vehicles because, well, there wasn't really a great deal of other vehicles out there. And, and, and for, for example, aircraft, there was just more aircraft in, in game to choose from comparatively to the tanks. Otherwise, that's it. You've been updated. Uh, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. We're not going to do list videos uh, for a little while yet. But if you have any other video ideas, do let me know in the comments down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for purchasing the, the, the decal. And thanks to all the members who have joined the, uh, the channel recently. There'll be a members-only video going up in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that.